You Hello. feel the love. You feel the love. We love I you so much. I feel the love. So much. Oh, thank you. And I'm so happy to have you here. You look good. Thank you so much. Your outfit is everything. Thank you. I love your roller skate. Girl, I tried. You see. <laughs> now, Demi, can you skate and sing at the same time? No. Okay. So it's not just me, huh? No, it's not just you. Must be a trick to it. Usher, yeah. teach me one day. But you've been, like, very busy this year, huh? I have. I've been pretty busy. Yeah. So thank you for stopping by and seeing me. Yeah, you was absolutely. You in Austria? Yeah. Yes, I just got back. Um, I had a show in Ischgl, Austria, at the top of a mountain um, at a ski resort. And I was so cold. <laughs> you I performed that? in uh, 15 degree weather at, um, for an hour and a half on stage, and the snow was pelting me in the face. But we had a really good time. Everyone um, was, they were a great crowd. and. We had a good time. Now that's something I've never done because it's hard to sing in the cold. It's my, oh my gosh. So I was frozen basically. Your lips. <laughs> and, and I was having a hard time getting the words out <laughs> to match the tempo of the song because everything is just goes slower in the cold. Yeah, because the face is froze. Yeah. I always say like air conditioning and cold is like kryptonite to Superman to a vocalist. So yes. I take my hat off to you to be able to do that. And you hit Thank some you. serious notes. Thank you. So honey, I know that's a struggle. Yeah, that was tough. Mm. So you recently performed at the VMAs this yes, year. Yes, I did. What was that like? Um, it was so much fun. I had such a great time. I got to perform uh, revamped versions of my song, so rock versions of my of my nice. some of my biggest hits, and um, it was really fun. Who? Because I like getting surprised, or at least a lot of times when I go on the stage and I see all the people I know, all my like celebrity friends, and I want to yeah. talk to them. So who did you see? You know, you know I, who I saw cheering me on was Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and Kelsey Ballerini. And um, and I just yeah it was. Sound it was like you really had a cool. lot of support. Yeah, I did. It, it made me feel really, like I was nervous going out there. And once I saw people in the audience yes. cheering me on, I was like, okay, I can do it. It make you feel at home. I yes, totally, totally understand that. I would have been cheering right along with them if I oh, was there. Oh, thank you. But I've been sitting right here <laughs> on this couch, girl. <laughs> I love your voice. Thank you. I love your. Oh my God. Thank you. I love your. Thank you. Yes. You got an instrument on you, little sister. Thank you. Please tell me, when did you discover that you could sing? When did you discover that voice? So I was actually, I think I was about four, five years old. Mm -hmm. I just started singing. I didn't, well, okay. So I sang in the talent show when I was in kindergarten. And I sang My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. In kindergarten? I did not sound like Celine what? Dion in kindergarten. <laughs> I did not sound like her. But I, but I got out there and I belted, and that's when I realized I fell in love with music yeah. is because my, my microphone went out and I stuck it through. You know, I continued to perform on stage even though the, I was having this technical difficulty. Mm. And when I got older, I realized I had a That you a don't need voice. a microphone. <laughs> Thank you don't, you. It's very few singers who don't need a microphone, and you are one of them. You Thank don't even you. need So are mic. you. Okay. Thank you. Listen. Did, where do you think you got your voice from? Does anyone else in your family sing? My mom sang. Wow. Yeah, my mom was a singer, and she was a country music singer. Oh. And so I got it from her and um, was just constantly singing on the way to school, in mm. the car, you know, around the house. And she taught me how to harmonize and and she taught me how to sing until I got a vocal coach. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she taught you well, that's for sure. Thank you. And then, <laughs> great vocalists always have great musical inspiration. You got to meet Miss Aretha Franklin? I did. What was I that like? I got to meet her and it was amazing. Um, well, first of all, I, I ran into her on the streets of New York and I thought, I have to get a picture because she is such an wow. inspiration to me. It's nothing like meeting those we look up to. So she's yes. definitely one of them. Yes. For sure. Um, and you, you have been an inspiration for so many by sharing your story and being so honest. Like, thank you. You know, what did you find the bravery to do that? You know, I, I had always wanted the role model that I never had growing up. Um, not saying that I didn't have role models growing up, but when I spoke about my eating disorder, in Hollywood, there weren't any young people talking about eating disorders um, that I knew of. And so I wanted to be that for my generation of saying, you know what, it's okay to talk about your mental health mm -hmm. and I wanna be the person that is an inspiration to the 13 year old at home that's struggling with the same issues that I had. So, um, yeah. so 
I, I had role models in my life, but nobody in the public eye that I could really look to and say, that's me, and I wanted to be that for others. And you are, Thank and it's you. making a huge difference. It really is. It does. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yes. Because I love having you here. More with Demi. We'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about a very Demi holiday. You're special. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, I'm so excited. I did a holiday special, and I had some of my friends come on, and we just, we had a great time. I baked with Paris Hilton. I saw that. <laughs> I did a ballet dance with Trixie Mattel. And so I had a really great time. It was, it was really fun. What were you in Paris making exactly? We were making treats for our dogs, so we made meat cakes. <laughs> it was not my favorite thing that I've ever made because I had to cut up chicken gizzards ah. and chicken liver. And so that's a kind of a funny part of the special is just us reacting to the nasty things we had to chop up. <laughs> um, but we had a great time doing it. It looked like you had such a good time. I love a holiday special, so I love that you guys did this. And then I have a picture of you guys with your dogs. <laughs> this is too cute. I have to ask, because I know I yes. get my pets uh, gifts for Christmas. Do you get your pets gifts for Christmas? Toys and treats. Toys and treats. Yes. Do yes. you cook all of their meals? No. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, I get them toys and treats for okay. Christmas. Okay. Now, listen, I heard that, okay, so no, for me, I always said if I wasn't a singer, my next choice would be a tattoo artist. Because I said I will always use my gifts and my talents to make my living. And nice. to me, that is a definition of a career. Now, I saw that you, did you get your boyfriend a tattoo? <laughs> I did. You did? I did. So my boyfriend was on tour with me mm -hmm. um, visiting. And we, we had a tattoo artist there. And he wanted to get a tattoo of, my, of a song title of mine called Forever For Me, which is a song I wrote about him. And um, while we were getting, while he was getting tattooed, he was like, I want you to do it. And I was like, what? But um, I, I assisted. I wouldn't say that I gave the full tattoo, otherwise that would have looked really bad. Okay. <laughs> but but um, I did a, a good portion of it okay. and it turned out okay. He, he okay, I like that. Now you know I could get tattoos. Would you let me give you a tattoo, Timmy? If you can do tattoos, <laughs> yes, let's do it. I can't, but okay. <laughs> I thought I asked. See, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it, but um, so you met your boyfriend through music? I did. We met in the studio, and um, he actually helped uh, co-write some of one of my singles, "Substance," nice. and a few songs on my last album. And we worked really well together, and we also are just super in love. And so I'm very happy with him. It's. Amazing to be able to find someone that uh, <laughs> have your moment, someone that. <laughs> it's amazing to be able to find someone that you just laugh and laugh and laugh with, and that you get to make music with. Like yeah. it's so special. So I'm very happy. I can see it in your eyes. You're yeah. glowing, and you're just the smiling. So that's beautiful. Congratulations on that love. Thank you. Will you stick around a little bit longer? Yes. Okay. Well, with Demi, we'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.